The following story is the story of forgiveness. There was a young man who lived a wild life committing many crimes. His parents always tried to bring him in the right path, but he always rebelled against his parents. A day came where he ended up in prison. While in prison, he came to his senses and regretted for his actions. Guilt and shame was eating him up. He thought about his parents who tried their best to bring him in right path but failed. He wished that he would have obeyed his parents. After few years, when he was nearing the end of his prison sentence, he thought of going back to his parents' house and start a new life. But he was not sure whether his parents will forgive him or not and accept him after all that he had done. Before his release, he wrote a letter to his parents about returning to them. He wrote that he is going to take a train which passes by the house before reaching the station. He mentioned about his regrets and the wish to return to them but he added that if they have forgiven him and accepted him, then they need to tie a white handkerchief on the tree outside the house. If he sees the white handkerchief as the train passes the house, then he will get down at the station. But if he doesn't see the white handkerchief, then he will carry on in the same train to his unknown destiny, knowing that his parents have not forgiven him. The day came of his release and he took the train. All the while in the train he was battling in his mind whether his parents will forgive him or not, after all the pain he had given them. Whether he will find the white handkerchief on the tree or not, as the train was approaching his house, he was becoming more and more anxious. His life, destiny and relationship with his parents depended on that one handkerchief, which he was anticipating to find on that tree in front of his parents' house. The moment of truth was soon going to be revealed to him. As the train passed his house, to his surprise, he just did not see one white handkerchief, but many white handkerchiefs hanging on that tree. And his parents were standing out to get the glimpse of their lost son after a long time. Tears started rolling down his eyes knowing that his parents have forgiven him and accepted him in spite of all his failures and sin. The son was restored to his parents. In the same way, God loves you despite your failures and falling. He is always there to forgive you and restore you. Forgiveness is so powerful and that is the nature of God. If we human beings would forgive one another, then this world would have been a better place. Forgiveness can change the heart of your enemy. Forgiveness comes out of love which only God can give. Maybe you have gone through hurt, pain, insults, rejections, abuse and failures. Are you willing to forgive and let it go? Someone said, when you forgive, you heal. And when you let go, you grow. In the matter of forgiveness, Jesus was very clear when he said in Matthew 6, verse 14 and 15, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This he said immediately after teaching his disciples to pray. In other words, more than anything else, the first priority we human beings 
need to have is to forgive one another. Are you still holding on to the hurt and pain? Remember, by still holding on to the hurt and pain, you are the one who will suffer. If God forgave you, then you also need to forgive others. May you experience the love and forgiveness of God. May you also experience the power of forgiveness even as you forgive others. God bless you. Amen.